That means Omicron is now circulating in Auckland and possibly the Nelson Marlborough region, if not elsewhere. On that basis, as we have previously signalled, the whole of New Zealand will move into the red setting of the traffic light system at 11.59pm tonight, Sunday 23 January. As I set out this week, our strategy is to slow the spread of Omicron down. This includes boosters and public health measures such as mask wearing and restrictions on gatherings while keeping the pressure off our health system to protect those most at risk of getting sick. Our plan for managing Omicron cases in the early stage remains the same as Delta, where we will rapidly test, contact trace and isolate cases and contacts in order to slow the spread. Every new region in New Zealand, as I said, will move into red at midnight tonight. Even if your part of the country doesn't yet have Omicron, the evidence from overseas suggests that it moves very quickly. We know it's already in both the North and South Islands and that cases have been on a number of flights. Our goal at red is to slow the spread of the virus. Again, the evidence from overseas is those places that were slow to act have had more severe outbreaks. So at red, in many ways, life carries on as per usual, but with more mask wearing and distancing precautions and reducing gathering limits to lower the risk of picking up the virus and super spreader events. Red is not locked down. At red, businesses stay open and you can do most of the things that you normally do, including visiting family and friends and moving around the country. But red will make a difference because it focuses in on those events that we know are high risk. Hospitality businesses can open, but are capped at 100 people indoors and customers must be seated and separated. Events and gatherings for vaccinated people are reduced to 100. If people at an event are not vaccinated, that reduces further to 25. In retail and public places like libraries and museums, there will be limits on those in a space based on the ability to maintain physical distancing. Businesses and workplaces remain open, but where a workplace deems it appropriate, they may choose to have employees work from home. Education centres stay open, but with extra public health measures, including mask wearing from everyone from year four and up. It is our intention for schools to return as planned. Over the summer, our education team has been working on additional measures to help support the safe return, including supporting the assessment of ventilation in our schools. Our plan is simple, get boosted, wear a mask in indoor settings and outdoors when you can't distance from others and reduce contacts as much as practical in those environments. Omicron is now in more than 80 countries around the world. By delaying its arrival here, we've had the time to kick off boosters, vaccination for children and prepare. I encourage everyone to use the coming days to take steps at home and with your family, neighbours and community to make a plan. Resources to help you do this are on the Unite Against COVID-19 website.